The drum glide bearing ensures that the drum turns smoothly. Replace the drum glide bearing if the drum makes a scraping noise and doesn't turn smoothly. The felt seal on the front panel of the dryer usually needs to be replaced at the same time that the glide bearing is replaced. Before you begin, wear work gloves to protect your hands. Unplug the dryer. Pull the lint screen out of the housing in the top panel of the dryer. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that secure the lint screen housing to the top panel. Push a putty knife under the lid near the left and right edges of the front of the dryer. Lift the top and prop it securely against the wall behind the dryer. Use a slot screwdriver to release the locking tab on the wire harness plug for the door switch. Use a nut driver to remove the front panel mounting screws from the inside of the cabinet. Pull the front panel forward slightly and then lift and unhook it from the two bottom hangers. Pull the front panel off of the dryer and set it aside. Note the configuration of the belt on the idler pulley and the motor pulley before removing it. You might find it helpful to take a digital picture so that you remember how to reinstall it. Push the idler pulley to the right to release tension on the drive belt. Pull the drive belt off of the idler pulley and the motor pulley. Use the drive belt that you just released from the pulleys to lift the drum up and out of the dryer cabinet. Release the locking tabs by squeezing them together and pushing them through the openings in the edge of the drum. Pull half of the drum glide bearing out of the drum and then the other. Line up the locking tabs on the new drum glide bearing with the openings in the drum and snap the new bearing into place. Push the retaining clips out of the felt seal. Pull the felt seal out of the channel in the front panel. Push the new felt seal into the channel. Reinstall the retaining clips. Place the rear of the drum on the top of the support roller that's on the rear panel inside the dryer cabinet. Lift the front of the drum to access the drum motor and idler pulley. Thread the drive belt through the idler pulley. Push the idler pulley to the right and loop the drive belt over the motor pulley. Position the front panel on the hangers at the bottom of the cabinet. Line up the mounting screw holes and reinstall the screws in the top of the front panel to secure it to the dryer cabinet. Plug the wire harness back into the plug on the door switch. Lower the top panel and snap it into place. Reinstall the screws in the lint duct housing and reinstall the lint screen. Plug the dryer into the wall outlet. 